Gaza's only power plant has run out of fuel, and that means no electricity. That will have a devastating impact on essential services like hospitals. A significant number of injured Palestinians rely on electrical oxygen generators to breathe and survive. Hospitals in the besieged enclave are relying on fuel generators that are not equipped to power many critical devices. At least 100 newborns and 1,100 dialysis patients rely on medical machines in Gaza. Refrigerated food will soon expire and there's no new food coming in. People have no means of communicating with their loved ones overseas. Journalists working in Gaza are finding it extremely difficult, if not impossible, to report as they are struggling to recharge their equipment. Many are relying on personal power banks, which too soon will run out of battery. The Gaza power plant will almost certainly remain offline unless and until Israel allows fuel and supplies to once again trickle into the Gaza Strip.